fact, in this innings. Joanna talking to the uh, players who are just surrounding him there and still afford a smile. He's got a lovely temperament. He will know when to concentrate. It's important then in, that in precious situations you also find time to unwind. He's got the cap on. He's uh, taken the helmet off, so that should also relax him. Physically, it can be demanding out there the middle session of this test match. has always been hard for the players. He's played him well. Anil Kumble would be just a touch frustrated bowling to Yusuf Johanna. He has a different technique. Short stride forward with bat meeting the ball. No confusion whatsoever. Steve Buckner will not. In fact, it's given him. What a breakthrough. I thought for a second that Steve Buckner was not going to call for that one. Yusuf Johanna perishing when Pakistan wanted him to stay out there and he'd be utterly disappointed because there was no need for him to play at that angle. Maybe the inside edge onto pad. Can't tell from here, but Buckner took his time. Just when I felt he was not giving it out, he picked up his finger. Much to the delight of the entire stadium. You can hear them. A disappointed Yusuf Johanna walks back for 22. He's taken a single, he's got one delivery to face, Yusuf Johanna, unless there's a wide ball or a no ball. And if he hits a six as big as Azar Mahmoud did just now, he could get to his hundred. It, it would be a fairy tale ending, wouldn't it? Six required to get to his hundred. And I think that's what he's done. That is a magnificent way to get to a hundred of the last ball of the innings right in the slot there from Kumaran the Pakistani dressing room happy as is Yusuf Johanna one day centuries are not easy to get particularly if you're batting down the order Yusuf Johanna started very slowly very watchfully but he picked up his innings and he's reached a magnificent hundred